Scientists have discovered a recurrent nova in our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. A recurrent nova regularly undergoes dramatic eruptions that shed its outer layers, resulting in a shell around the star that consists of ejected materials. But this recurrent nova explodes every single year, and I'm gonna tell you about it right now on IO. What is good? This is Inform Overload, where we tell you about the dope we find on the internet. We throw in some YouTube news, some science updates, basically anything we find that we think is really interesting, we cover on IO. By the way, I am Charlotte Dobre. Dab on that sub button and follow the IO team on Instagram. Bing! Oh god, they're gonna make fun of my dab. Have you ever heard about a star that explodes every single year? I sure haven't. So right now, I'm gonna tell you about M31 and 2008-12A. It's what scientists call a recurrent nova, and it has two striking characteristics. Number one, it has one of the largest shells of material ever seen for a recurrent nova. And number two, because of its shell, it erupts far more often than previously studied. Once a year or more. It now holds the title of the most frequent recurring nova. Scientists think that recurring novae are caused by a white dwarf, which if you didn't know is a rem of a dead star interacting with another star. White dwarfs are essentially stellar corpses, and with the case of a recurrent nova, the white dwarf jacks material from another star, and then as the gas precipitates on the denser white dwarf, it gets compressed, and then it heats up, and eventually it explodes. This is called, as you might already know, a nova. A nova can result in the star becoming a million times brighter, and some of its material is ejected into space, forming a shell or cocoon of material. Recurrent novae have been studied before. They aren't a new thing, but what makes this particular object special is that it erupts every year. By the way, I'm not going to read out the name of this object more than once. Those numbers and letters are all jumbled together and they're not very fun to read. Scientists really need to figure out a better naming system. I'm going to call this object Edvina after my grandmother, who would have angry fits on the regular. Today is actually the one year anniversary of her death, so cheers to you, Nona Edvina. Maybe you found your place in the universe as a recurrent nova. So, anyway, recurrent novas normally explode every 10 years or so, but Edvina erupts every year and it's done so for the past million years. The vast shell of material is made up of gas and dust and it spans 400 light years across. It's the first time scientists have found an object like this. There's another huge reason why scientists are watching this object closely and studying it. They think that it's on the verge of going supernova. Of course, this recurrent nova won't continuously explode forever. Once the white dwarf surpasses something called the Chandra Sekhar limit, which is 1.4 times the mass of the sun, it will either blow itself apart as a supernova or it will collapse into a neutron star. Hopefully scientists will still be around for this event. It's supposed to happen, you know, like sometime in the next 40,000 years. This new study has been published in the scientific journal Nature. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you on that. I'm gonna wrap up this video by responding to some comments. Brad Manning said, I have a gift for you, Charlotte. Ooh, a potato, thank you, I'll throw it on my pile. Joel Angel said, hey Charlotte, there is news on Twitter about scientists observing the formation of a black hole. No way, oh my god, I love space so much, I just love it. Donut Doodle said, what if IO broadcasted live on TV along with other news channels? I mean, I would probably have a much nicer condo. <laughs> Stephen Bell said, love the bits of news, just not some of the cringy joke parts. Hey there, Stephen. This is IO where we make news more entertaining. It's right there in our banner, up above there. If you don't want to hear jokes, I highly recommend you read a news article. I think most people like my jokes, the people with a good sense of humor at least. So for those 1.2 million people, I'm going to keep making jokes and reading the news. Uh, thank you very much. Derek Flores said, spill the tea, Charlotte. Oh, I spilled it, boo, all over the ground. Thank you for watching IO. Over here is a playlist that you should definitely click on if you enjoyed this video. And obviously, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so I can see you in the next IO video.